Yeah. All right. So, Leo, on those last two drives, um, you know, the, the offense had kind of been getting close but not really finishing. What did, what did you go back out? How did, how did you go back out there and make sure you guys finished those last two drives? Um, well, you know, first and foremost, Osborne goes to the man above. You know, can't thank him enough. I mean, he really brought us through this win. Um, but those last two drives, I mean, you know, it's just about, you know, facing adversity. And Coach talks to us about that. You know, it's, every game is a four-quarter game. And um, he always talks about we don't play to the scoreboard. You know, we just continue to, um, you know, just play one play at a time. And um, I think the defense did an outstanding job getting us the ball back in crucial moments. Um, you know, they never stop playing. They just they continue to go. And um, I think that's one thing that, you know, kind of gave us motivation and the confidence to, you know, get their backs and um, win the game. And, you know, that, that adversity, <clears throat> coaches kind of talked about that as being like, you know, four of the season overcoming that adversity. Now that you've done that in a pretty, pretty cool game like this, what does that say about your team going forward? Um, I mean, you know, we're a brotherhood. We're a family. And the coach pre preaches that a lot, you know, to us, you know, the hard work that we put in. Um, from fall camp, from the spring, summer, um, you know, it, it all it all shows, and um, you know, our practices are hard, and it's still hot at this time. But um, you know, we feel like you know, the harder we work in practice, the, the easier it'll be on, on game days. And you know, we practice situations like this, you know, four minute, two minute, um, end the game and end the half. Um, so, I mean, I, I think we we're just well prepared in our preparation. Our coaches did a great job. Um, we adjusted coming out of halftime, so. I mean, Everyone played play great. What, what was the <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, the first the first half, you know, we're expecting them to play more man. I mean, but you know, credit to them, they did a good job of mixing it up, mixing the coverages up. Um, they had a lot of drop eight, you know, more than usual. Uh, it was my fault of not using my legs more and scrambling outside of the pocket instead of stepping up. But um, I guess that was one of the more adjustments that we made. Coming back, you know, established the run, and um, Coach Enos and Coach Locks and our whole offensive staff did a great job, and you know, defense just continued to do their thing. Is there, is there anything you do personally to stay composed or tell yourself kind of on those critical drives there at the end? Um, well, on the sideline, I'm always you know talking to the guys, and you know, Coach Enos, I'm always with him, so he does a good job of you know bringing me back to neutral as well as my receivers and O line. Running backs, tight ends, they're always good at bringing me back to neutral and, you know, just <clears throat> taking everything one play at a time. You know, there were some times we had opportunities in the red zone and, you know, we didn't come over with points. But, um, you know, stuff like that is easy to just, you know, trigger and, you know, put your head down and stuff like that. But, you know, I think all that comes with the brotherhood that we have over here, just picking each other back up. We had two turnovers, you know, and those guys did not flinch or, you know, do anything. They just, Continue to stay back neutral, and I think that's the beauty of having a brotherhood like this. Did you watch uh, Jensen Trino's kick, or what were you doing in that moment? Yeah, I was I was watching his kick. Okay. I mean, we we have so much faith and trust in uh, Joe. You know, he makes kicks like that every day, and you know, was, this was his moment to to shine. You know, I'm just happy. You know, he he made the kick for the team. And, you know, we're sitting here today with Torres. And that last drive before the kick, what was, what was the mindset under a minute to go inside the 50? Um, I think we had like 55 seconds left, like 40 seconds, something like that. And, um, you know, it was just to get, get in field goal range. Like I said, we, you know, we chose Co uh, Petrino and our field goal team. And, um, you know, just being smart with the football, knowing when to take shots and, you know, no taking sacks. And, um, like I said, you know, I, I feel like we've just been well prepared with practicing situations like that. And, um, you know, it came up today, and you know, we did a good job. Where are you confidence-wise <clears throat> now compared to three games ago, now that you've kind of had these wins and gone through this adversity? Uh, so before the season? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think my confidence always been the same. You know, I think my confidence um, and our offense, our whole team's confidence comes from our preparation come from, you know, we have a motto on our offense side of just win Monday through Friday. And that's something Coach Enos brought to the team. And um, it's, it's really just about, you know, sacrificing Monday through Wednesday or Monday through Friday. And 
you know, with film, extra film, extra work, and just, you know, going all out so that, you know, on Saturday it could all play out. So I think that's where my confidence comes from. Thanks, Toy. Thanks, Toy. Thank you. Thank you.